On the other hand, the spirits of darkness are now among us. We have to be on guard so that we may realize what is happening when we encounter them and gain a real idea of where they are to be found. The most dangerous thing you can do in the immediate future will be to give yourself up unconsciously to the influences which are definitely present. For it makes no difference to their reality whether they are recognized or unrecognized. It will be the main concern of these spirits of darkness to bring confusion into the rightful elements which are now spreading on earth and need to spread in such a way that the spirits of light can continue to be active in them. They will seek to push these in the wrong direction. I have already spoken of one such wrong direction which is about as paradoxical as is possible. I have pointed out that while human bodies will develop in such a way that certain spiritualities can find room in them, the materialistic bent, which will spread more and more under the guidance of the spirits of darkness, will work against this and combat it by physical means. I have told you that the spirits of darkness are going to inspire their human hosts, in whom they will be dwelling, to find a vaccine that will drive all inclination toward spirituality out of people's souls when they are still very young. And this will happen in a roundabout way through the living body. Today bodies are vaccinated against one thing and another. In future children will be vaccinated with a substance which it will certainly be possible to produce, and this will make them immune so that they do not develop foolish inclinations connected with spiritual life. Foolish here, of course, in the eyes of materialists. A beginning has already been made, though only in the literary field where it is less harmful. As I have mentioned, learned medical experts have published books on the abnormalities of certain men of genius. As you know, attempts have been made to understand the genius of Conrad Ferdinand Meyer, Victor Scheffel, Nietzsche, Schopenhauer and Goethe by showing them to suffer from certain abnormalities. And the most astounding thing in this field is that people have also sought to understand Jesus Christ and the Gospels from this point of view. Two publications are now in existence in which the origins of Christianity are said to be due to the fact that at the beginning of our era there lived an individual who was mentally and psychologically abnormal. This individual went about in Palestine as Jesus Christ and infected people with Christianity. These, as I said, are the beginnings in the field of literature. The whole trend goes in a direction where a way will finally be found to vaccinate bodies so that these bodies will not allow the inclination toward spiritual ideas to develop. And all their lives, people will believe only in the physical world they perceive with the senses. Out of impulses which the medical profession gained from presumption, oh, I beg your pardon, from the consumption they themselves suffered, people are now vaccinated against consumption. And in the same way, they will be vaccinated against any inclination Toward spirituality. This is merely to give you a particularly striking example of many things that will come in the near and more distant future in this field, the aim being to bring confusion into the impulses which want to stream down to earth after the victory of the spirits of light. <laughs>